Uh, let's go to Stephen, uh, who says, I just found out about your show when I was trying to find out how to customize DVD's menu. Uh, DVD? It's D-E-V-E-D-E. -E -E. Hey, Stephen. Yeah, DVD. DVD's That's an application menu. that Linux uses to create DVDs that are absurd. Oh. Like, you're talking, like, you could fit, like, ten full-length movies on one disc. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that would be handy. So, yeah, great application. Okay. Customize DVD's menu for the disc. Now, I'm going to watch it as often as possible. Thank you. Thanks, Stephen. I'm looking for an alternative to Windows. I have used Opens Use. Where are you? Op opens. Op oh, well, uh, some people say Open S-U-S-E. Open S -S -E. Oh. A lot of people are saying Open, open Susie. Susie. That's kind of what I lean open towards. Susie. But I don't really know. Hmm. We'll just call it Open Susie. <laughs> and I just found out about Ubuntu from your show. I know in Open Susie, it is a little difficult to install programs unless you know code. Hmm. Yeah. I printed out the manual for Open Susie, but that wow. was no help. So I was wondering if Ubuntu is a lot like Windows in the field of installing programs, IG, GIMP, and DVD. All right, well, let's use those two examples. All righty then. It, it, now, I know you're new here, Stephen. I'll, I'll explain to you about a feature that we have on our website. It's called the Meet. Mm -hmm. And what the Meet is, is it's, a, it's an opportunity for you just to catch little snippets. Like the, it's the meat it's of meat. each episode. Mm -hmm. So um, different, uh, different features when sort we talk like about steak. specific things. It has nothing to do with steak, Christy. It's nothing. It's the best, the best of the information. It has to do with like milk and potatoes is like the, you know, the baby stuff. And then the meat is like the, the real, you know, the stuff that you can chew on. Where's the beef? Yeah. <laughs> so, Stephen. Uh, I'm going to be meat, fired by the end of tonight. Because <laughs> I, I just can't <laughs> afford your salary. <laughs> the meat dot category five dot TV is a great place to check out because we have talked about uh, Synaptic Package Manager in the past excellent application for installing stuff on Ubuntu Linux. I'm going to just quickly show you it here. If you click on System, Administration, Synaptic Package Manager, enter your password. This is the root or super user password. Now, GIMP is already installed in your system when you install Ubuntu, so that's, that's fine, but I'll, I'll show you anyways. If I type in GIMP, it's going to take me to all the packages that have to do with GIMP. So there's GIMP, and I could mark it for installation, mark it for reinstallation, Complete removal, upgrade if there's, pardon me, a new version. And it gives me a description. You were asking about DVD. I'm not sure if it's in here or not. Let's give it a go. There it is. So if we want to install DVD now, I'm going to hit that. I'm going to go mark for installation. It's going to tell me what else is required. It tells me that DVD author, image magic, all these things are required. So mark those as well, as long as I trust them, if they're good. And th this is maintained, by default, it's maintained by uh, trustworthy resources. So or trustworthy sources. So once I've done that, I just hit apply. It tells me what I'm doing here. Watch for if anything's going to be removed in this list because that's where things can break. Uh, most likely, you know, the, the most likely uh, time that something's going to break is if there's something that's going to be removed that you still need. So in this case, I trust everything that's going to go through and I just hit apply and that's how easy it is, literally, to install DVD. It's downloading all of the dependencies, which are, you know, I, I don't know about op OpenSUSE, how it works with dependencies, uh, but on any distribution where I've had to install from source like that, uh, it, it can be a little bit of a headache. This takes care of all that for you. It uses apt in order to uh, get all of this stuff from the repositories. So these repositories are maintained by whoever... Uh, you know, whoever's distributing that software. So in most cases, with a fresh install of, of Ubuntu, it's going to be canonical and people who uh, work with or volunteer to, to help out maintaining those repositories. But that's all there is to it. So it goes through, you know, sit back, relax. You can mark as many applications as you want. Usually what I'll do is when I first install Ubuntu, I'll get Perfect Ubuntu, which you'll see a little later on in the show when we install Firefox 3.5. Uh, but also... I'll just mark all of the applications that I know I'm going to need. Uh, and then I just hit apply. I let it go maybe overnight if there's a lot of them. And it, it will automatically download and install all those applications for me. That's as simple as it is. And there we go. So now, imagine this. I'm going to go sound and video. And we'll see now DVD is on our menu. Click on that. Lo and behold, 
Dun da da da! DVD is installed, running, ready to go with all of its dependencies. How much easier could it be, Stephen? Hmm. If it was any easier, it'd be ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's Synaptic Package Manager. It's included with Ubuntu and many other Linux distributions as well. 